My name is Annabella and um, um, today is the second day of the symposium and now in the afternoon there is demonstrations going on. I am with Pedro Loreiro, he's doing uh, a demonstration here um, uh, uh, close to the Ribeira and um, I'm going to ask a few questions to the attendees and uh, I'm going to show a little bit of uh, what Pedro is doing. Richard and uh, he's going to give his feedback about uh, this demonstration and why did he attend. Hi there, hi there, I'm Richard. I think this demonstration that Pedro is doing is really, really valuable in how to actually distill a very complicated scene in a very simple form uh, using the simple principles of uh, perspective. Uh, a few tips along the way to actually, you know, com uh, actually arrange the drawing in a way, but rather than getting overwhelmed with a complicated scene, which sometimes is generally, you know, a little bit daunting. Sort of really breaking it down into a series of shapes and lines that is easy to manage for an you know, urban sketch. Okay, thank you so much, Richard. And uh, now I'm going to show a little bit of what Pedro is doing. You see that the direction of the sketch is, all, is already changing. So we have vanishing lines from here to here. Now we have vanishing lines from here to here. This is a corner. Again, the same thing here. I'm exaggerating a little bit, I guess. And you can draw the edge of the, of the, of the window here. Okay, this is nice. We could just hint at the window, and the brain will do the rest of the work. So the brain will work, uh, will work around your uh, sketch, and you'll you'll believe that this is a window just because it makes sense that it's a window. So. Now I'm ready to start enhancing the perspective with these lines on the floor. They're quite useful. Stuff in the floor is really useful to get that notion of perspective in depth. But just go easier on this. Final lines for the details on the floor. Final lines. Final lines. We are in Rua da Reboleira. Um, and Pedro is sharing the tips how to draw and how to color it afterwards. Hello again. Hi, I'm Kara from Portland, Oregon. Yeah, so um, uh, why did you attend to this uh, demonstration? Demonstration. Um, I wanted to learn about how other people draw architecture because I kind of have my own way of doing it. It's nice to see how other people sketch architecture. And, um, and, um, uh, what well, today is the second day you just arrived yesterday and I would like to know what did you uh, learn and what did you enjoy the most in this um, symposium um, I kind of the first workshop I took I was really inspired about like the um, the content of the drawing like usually I go out and try to find like the most interesting building but um, the pan taught us to like look in the like darker corners of the city and like try to find like the more um, run down places to capture that like um, culture mm -hmm. so I'm really inspired to go back home and do that in Portland okay thank you very much and of course that this is perfect time to get to know more people uh, because uh, again there's people from all over the world Gives a sense of depth. The more detail we get into it, 
Pedro is, is giving um, um, some tips about how to give depth to the drawing. Alright. I like to keep my blood limited. And now the start is, is going to start with watercolors. Green water. <laughs> I have this whole bunch of brushes, and I usually only use one. We are in um, Portugal, Portugal, and, so, uh, and this is usually enough for uh, fast sketches. Like I mean, it carries a lot of water because it's thick, but it also gives a fine point, a finer. The I would like to be fine. I would like to be finer, but thick and it's very fine <laughs> as it is. So that's the setup here. Okay, now the color is going to start and I'm going to finish this transmission. I uh, hope you enjoy, stay tuned because uh, there will be more live videos. Uh, I think that uh, now at 5.30 uh, it's going to be another live video. So stay tuned and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.